Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with our absolutely beautiful Rose Stone and our adorable Thistledown who is currently stuffing his face on some of the delicious grapes that are here in the vineyard and I'm so happy to be back. Oh my goodness, it has been a couple weeks. I'm so sorry Rose Stone. Her mood is once again absolutely horrible. So we are going to go ahead and take her over to the vet that's in Silverglade Village. Um, oh man, I feel so bad. Well, hang on, hang on. We'll get over to the vet, Rose Stone. I'm so sorry. Sorry. But yes, I've been traveling and I forgot to set her so that she would be taken care of in the barn. It is my bad, Rose Stone. We just got so busy. And so many new things have been happening here in Star Stable, you guys. There's apparently a potato festival going on. Hang on to your little ears there, Thistledown, because I think Thistledown's still stuffing his face on the delicious grapes that we snagged from the vineyard. But we are going to go ahead and head back into Silverglade. And then we are going to take Rose Stone to the vet. And then we're going to go find the potato festival. I was so excited when I read about it. So apparently, after the long, hard winter and the terrible early frost of spring have passed in Jorvik, they like to go ahead and do all sorts of like planting frenzies. And I totally understand that because I absolutely adore getting my gardens up and going. So let's go ahead and get her taken care of. And then we need to go look for Marley and he should hopefully still have the potato quest for us. I'm really hoping so. Sometimes they, they just finish up so quickly. There's like Steve, Will, Anderson, Josh, did I miss it? Did I miss the, the potato quest? I really hope I didn't. I'll be so sad if I miss the potatoes. All right, so let's come on down and we're gonna visit with the vet. All right. So you think your horse needs super treatment to be on top again? Well, I think we can take care of that, but it'll cost you. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and pay it. And now Rose Stone is totally happy, and we're gonna see if we can find the potato festival. I think we missed it, I'm so sad. I really, 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 really wanted to take part in the potato festival, but I'm not seeing anybody who has the request. And Marley, there's Will, Donald, Alex, Ed, James, ah, oh, no. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Okay, you guys, let this be a lesson. You really have to be on top of things because you miss like one week because you're away or traveling or busy and then you miss out on all sorts of fun festivities. So, Fooey, I missed out on the potatoes. Man, I was really looking forward to that too. Marley, won't you change your mind? Won't you change your mind about the potatoes? I don't think he's going to change his mind. All right. Well, sadly, my friends, the potato festival is over, it seems, and I have missed out once again. So I really need to get on top of it. But we're going to continue with what we know we can work on, at least. And that's going to be taking care of our quest with Alex. So let's head back over to Silverglade. Rose Stone is feeling in top form. Rose Stone, I know you're feeling in top form, but you don't need to, like, run into a fence. Come on. No, why did you do that? She's being very stubborn today. All right, got to slow down. There you go, sweetie. There we go. All right. So we're going to continue doing the quest to figure out what's going on with Alex and what kind of mysterious background into the Baroness's history we're able to dig up. I'm so sad about the potato festival. I'm sorry, Thistledown. I promised you potatoes and then I didn't deliver potatoes. But the good news is that there's always something every week and that's something I really appreciate about Star Stable. And we should hopefully be finding uh, even more quests opening up for us as we gain more reputation and people start to feel more comfortable with us. All right, so you know what? I can't just leave that poop over there sitting in the barn. I am a stable hand. All right, Thistledown, have some more like grapes and berries. And I really, really apologize for getting your hopes up about the potato festival and then dashing them on the ground. And then let's see, what does Judy need? Let's see, Judy just says that we can spend the night, but we don't need to right now. So we're gonna run over here and let's snag our quest for Silverglade. It does help with our reputation with them after all to take care of these things. And if we have time, I don't know if today we'll do it, but sometime this week we will definitely be going and trying to work with the hermit a little bit more, especially now that Rose Stone is in top form and she's feeling good and she's taken care of because the hermit should have uh, some new ponies available. I'm very excited. We need a pony for a quest, apparently. I haven't run into that quest just yet in the future, but we need a pony for a quest, and we also are going to be building reputation with the hermit so we can try to get some of the wild ponies. That should be a lot of fun. 
And it's going to take a long time to get that reputation, but you have to run the races with him, and then that's how you earn it. All right, so let's muck out this stable. I just can't ignore a dirty stable because it's everybody needs help. Oh, Rowstone, she's so beautiful when she just leans down to like get something to eat or kind of graze the ground. I hope she's not eating anything suspicious. Being here, I would just assume that there's tons and tons of berries all over the place. All right, Judy, let's take care of things. There you go. All right, and slowly but surely building up our reputation here, which should stand us in good stead should we dig too deep into the Baroness's history and get in a little bit of trouble for what we find. All right, Alex. Okay, so this is all very interesting. What do we have? We know that Lydia, Linda is locked in the castle, probably by Godfrey, ordered by the Baroness. We also know that the Baroness is extremely secretive about her former husband, John Sandman, whom she claims to be dead. This John Sandman should thus be the grandfather of Justin, and the man Justin and Sabine have gone to see. The police? Well, not yet, I think, but maybe soon. Listen, there's someone I need you to talk to who will be able to help us. Her name is Elizabeth Sunbeam. Elizabeth Sunbeam. <laughs> I wonder if you can say that name with a straight face all the time. Like, Sunbeam. At least it's not like Sunny Sunbeam. I'm just going to call it like Sunny Sunbeam or Lizzie Sunbeam because that's adorable. And she's my supervisor. Well, what's your job, actually, Alex? Is she like some sort of private detective? You'll find her in Valdell. Ever been there? Northeast of Silverglade Village, you'll find the Mill Hill Road, which later becomes Valdell Way. Follow that up north. Oh my goodness. We're going to go all the way out there. So we're going to the Keepers of Aiding. Oh my gosh. Daisy Apple Ward. See, everybody has such cool names and really cool outfits on. I'm just glad we're like vaguely starting to match again. Um, Should I do the quick race? You know what, Redstone? We're going to go ahead and we're going to take Rosestone on to the race really quickly over here for the Baroness. Because um, it won't take us too long. We're just going to run across the now... Oh, that's so cool. The oil fields are like holding still now that we have gone ahead. Woo, sorry, Rosestone. Just kind of uh, getting some greenery under our hooves here. Running all over the place. But now that we have advanced uh, so far that we've been able to stop the oil from being pumped because we we pegged him for like having illegal equipment. It's really interesting to see how like the machinery will stop moving. Maybe it'll go away after a while. I really need to work on getting a higher level and work on my reputation with the vineyard because I want to join the garden club. That's like entirely what I want to do is just join the garden club. All right, let's slow down. We're going to go ahead and go on this race track. All right, come on, Rose Stone. Let's show everybody what we can do. Because I really can't wait to get her up to level 15. I feel like I need to get her up to level 15 to be a responsible, like, horse owner. Before I actually start working on getting a whole bunch of new horses, like the new pony. Uh, getting a new horse is just not on my list of things to do. Because we need to take good care of the ones we already have. That'd be like getting a new puppy when you just got a new puppy. You know what I mean? You're still training the first puppy. You can't just go and get a new puppy. Alright, so there's that. There you go, Rosestone. All right, finish that race. Well, let's go ahead and run back to the Baroness. And then apparently we are about to go on a very big adventure past the Mill of the Hill Road. And then we are going to wander our way up into Valdell. So I didn't see that one coming. If I had, I definitely would have um, tried to meet with Elizabeth Sunbeam, Lizzie Sunbeam, before we needed to come back here. Because we had been visiting Valdell for the first time. It was very, very pretty. I really loved it. All right, and there's the vineyard again. And then we're going to run across the bridge. Very beautiful bridge. I love the stonework on the side of the buildings now. It's just so pretty. All right, and then we're going to go and politely talk with the <laughs> Baroness and hopefully not make her angry. All right, we're going to slow down. Hello, Baroness. Still no progress. I'll have to talk to somebody about that. All right, but we have managed to get quite a bit of reputation, a good boost for Rose Stone, and a teeny bit of money. It's like she throws a couple coins our way for all the trouble. All right, and then let's see. So anybody else we can talk with before we move on? I think Donald is ready for us to speak with him. So maybe we'll go speak with Donald the tailor really quickly. Because I would love to see if we can snag any other quests that we need to continue before we begin the long but beautiful ride across the open countryside into Valdell. And maybe that'll start opening up some of those areas. I recall a lot of standing stones last time we visited. Alright, so let's head this way. 
Look at the mill. Oh, it's very, very pretty. It's too bad you can't really, like, jump between places any faster. But, I mean, come on. We're riding horses. That's the whole point. Marley, I'm so sad. I really am very, very sad I missed his potato festival. Apparently, it's just... It's there and it's gone. It's like a real-life festival. You just have to show up when it's there or else you're going to miss out on everything. So, again, good lesson to be learned. All right. And then, let's see. Donald the tailor should be down here. I should definitely, let me know if you guys would like me to do another pony post where I just read all of the mail you guys have sent in. Because those seem to be really popular, mm -hmm. so I don't mind doing those. Hi, Saga. Surprisingly enough, I managed to finish it up. And the needles from the blacksmith were fantastic. I'm really shocked, actually. Here's Loretta's order. Could you bring it to her? There's probably a better chance that it will reach her if you take it than if I post it. Thanks. Now I have to continue work. All right, so let's go ahead and Donald the Pessimist can do it. Everybody here is like, Silverglade Village actually has some really depressed residents <laughs> because they also have the clockmaker and she's like, woe is me, life's over, everything is ruined. Like all of the time, that's her personality. So it is kind of funny that there's so many residents who are just sort of really sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad too, but it's just, it's interesting as well. All right, so let's go ahead. And you know what? I think we're going to actually angle our way instead of going up right now at this point in time to Valdel. I think we're going to come down and visit Loretta and then actually head over to South Hoof. I feel like going to South Hoof today, you guys. I feel like going to South Hoof today and going on some of those races with the Hermit so we can try building up our reputation with him. Wow, this actually turned out really well. I have to thank Justin next time I see him. I was right about Donald being good, but Justin is actually always right. He's totally perfect. That's why we fit so well together. Yes, Loretta, you fit so well together with your boyfriend Justin, you don't even notice that he has currently vanished off the face of the planet, headed for presumably his evil druid grandfather. I am sure that you two are a wonderful couple. All right, so what does she want now? I started thinking about the invitations while you were gone, Saga. Who, why do you look so surprised? What kind of loser party is this if only two people show up? Of course, it can't be just me and Tan that'll show up. You know, the invitation says it all. What kind of party to expect? One for the losers or one for us bobcats? A little bit better, a bit more fancy. I'd be seriously embarrassed if I didn't have a proper invitation. It can't be boring like an old person wrote it, and it can't be dorky or old-fashioned either. It's actually pretty hard to be cool, even if there are a few people that really get it. You should be happy to get the chance to help me with this. There's not that many people that get the chance like this in life. Can you help me fix the envelopes for the invitations so they'll be as cool as the actual invitations? Thank you so much. Um, okay. Oh, am I just like coming over here? Okay, use the pin. I'm gonna doodle. I'm gonna doodle all sorts of adorable little like mushrooms and ferns on this. Ah, I have to be dismounted. All right, hang in there, Thistledown. You just continue eating your delicious grape snack. And I'm gonna come over here. All right, so I'm gonna doodle some adorable like ferns and I'm gonna doodle some adorable little mushrooms on this so that we can have all sorts of really cute little invitations prepared. Cause I think that sounds really fun. Um, what else, what would you guys put on an invitation if you were trying to make it look cool? All right, so there we go. A bit better, a little bit fancier. Um, I guess I drew like a horse with wings. I'm sure she'll approve of that. Wow, awesome, Saga. I see. It seems I underestimated you. This turned out really well. We're getting there, Saga. There's not a lot of time left till the party gets started. Now we just have to hand out these invitations and make sure they get into the right hands. We don't want any lame people at the party, after all. Duh. That would ruin everything. Gosh, how embarrassing if some lame would hear about the party and show up. Tam would think I hated her. Can you take these invitations and hand them out? And Saga, I'm counting on you to only invite cool people. Uh, okay. Do I, do I just hand them out to random people? All right, down at Moreland? Well, I can definitely handle that while we're here, I guess. So, all right, we will work our way over to South of Peninsula, but we might as well do the invitations because this is kind of interesting. And it's a beautiful day. Thistledown is by our side. I think Thistledown wants like maybe a, a piece of like the cherries they put on top of the cupcakes for the party to cope with the disappointment of having missed out on the potato festival. I knew I should have done it last night. I was just so tired. All right, so, well, Loretta, do you count as, like, a cool person? Is that what this is about? What about Charlotte? Does she count? Loretta, do I hand, like, an invitation to you? So, who do I, uh, do I give one to Tan? Um, how do I know? Aha! Here we go. 
All right, well, Stephanie is a cool person. So Stephanie, an invite to Tan's party. Thanks. So Stephanie's cool. She can come. Um, uh, Saga, you call this the cool person? Are you trying to destroy mine and Tan's life? I thought you actually cared about me. Get your act together, Saga. Now we have to redo the invitation. What? What? Jenna isn't cool? <gasps> That's so fierce. So if you don't hand out the invitations to cool people, then they just destroy like the invitations entirely. What? Okay, lesson learned. This is actually really interesting. So today I guess we're working on inviting only the cool kids. So let's go back up. Do I need my jacket? I should probably get my Bobcat Girls jacket on. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to gain a lot of like oomph if I don't have my, my jacket on. All right, so we're back here, and I blew it. So apparently she's not cool enough. All right, so now I have to like try this again. All right, do I have do I have the invitations? Okay, so I have the invitations. I don't have to rewrite them, but she has like stomped on the invitations. She ripped them out of my hand, tore them up into tiny pieces of confetti, and rewrote the entire thing because an uncool person dared to lay their eyes down upon. <laughs> <laughs> down upon the invitation. So there we have it. Now I know. All right. Well, at least we know one person that's correct to hand them to. Um, but this guy's cool, isn't he? Does he count? I'm pretty sure Josh counts. All right, Josh, I'm pretty sure you can count as a cool okay. guy. There we go. So Josh is cool enough. Cowboy Josh can come. I think that the blacksmith is cool enough. I feel kind of bad because I'm like, I don't know about this. Handing out like these things okay Sophia is cool isn't she no. all right so Sophia is cool so she can come um let's see who else is cool I think the little old grandma is cool so she can come but I should probably focus on everybody with Bobcat girls outfits on she's cool okay I love I love May May has to be cool enough please okay good so May is cool enough she can come um, whoops. Okay, Roaststone, sorry, that's a wall. And look, there's the adorable, <laughs> the adorable cow. All right. Meanwhile, Thomas is still upset. Ah, there's a Bobcat girl. All right, so Bobcat girl Amelia is cool enough. She can come. Um, and then I think we're gonna find the rest of them like around behind us. So basically only hand them out to Bobcat girls. Noted. Even though I really want to hand them out to like tons of different people. I want to invite everybody. Moreland Stable should support all of its residents, don't you think? Alright, well we'll wiggle over here. So Stephanie is cool enough. But not Jenna. Um, I need to find like one more person who's cool enough to come. Is it going to be somebody like I least expect? And that's why this is going to be a little trickier. So are there bobcat girls inside of here? Where are the bobcat girls? How do I determine who the last cool person is? I have to pick the cool kids. And I, I, I don't know what the right answer is. All right. But it's not this one. Noted. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. Well, there's somebody over this away. Oh, wait. Do I have to add an invitation to her? No, wait, we're headed in the right direction. There's somebody over here who we can give the invitation to. All right, is it, is it him? Can we give the invitation? We could potentially give the invitation to Conrad, but I'm pretty sure they'd be like, no, that's not a cool guy. So let's see, let's try, there's somebody else over here. So Conrad, I think you're awesome, but I think that the Bobcat girls would be like, you knew. Because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. So who's over here? Oh! Oh! Little Miss Holdsworth! I think she's a cool kid. I think she's cool enough to come. I'm gonna give Miss Holdsworth the letter. And if. Uh uh! No, I'm not doing your party now. If you refuse to invite Miss Holdsworth, then I, I don't wanna go. I don't want to come then. That's so rude. I like Miss Holdsworth, but we're stuck on this. So I'm sorry, Miss Holdsworth. 
I don't know if I want to be part of the cool kids club anymore if they're not gonna invite little Miss Holdsworth. She would break the best little ghost shaped cookies and like the best cake. I don't know why they won't invite her. That's really rude. All right, well, let's do this one last time. And if I can't discern who the cool person is, then I'll just kind of throw my hands up in the air. Does Conrad count? Is he cool enough? Because I'm pretty sure he was our last choice. So we're gonna grab the invitations and go straight to maybe Conrad. And if Conrad's wrong, then Tan's party can wait till next year <laughs> when she has another birthday. So let's just come on up here and do this one last time. And then next time we'll head over to South Hoof and hang out with the Hermit and see if there's any other quests we can do over there. All right, all right, all right, yes. All right, Loretta, I'm aware that you like threw the invitations on the ground again. There's probably some birds flying around with like little scraps of paper from all of the stuff you've destroyed. <sighs> Miss Holdsworth is totally a cool kid. I don't know, I don't know what they have against her. All right, let's go ahead and run on down. And I think Conrad is like the only guy I had left to really try. So I'm gonna try giving one to Conrad and we'll see if he's cool enough for the party. And if he's not cool enough for the party, then like I said, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to wait and I will take care of that later. It's because Tan's party has been on hold for a very long time already. And I'm I'm a little bit sad because Miss Holdsworth not is not cool enough. Dang it! Alright. Well clearly I don't know who the cool kids are. I, I'm gonna be kicked out of the Bobcat Girls gang at this rate. Ah. Uh, now I'm curious, actually. Okay, so I guess it's just like looking for a missing bobcat girl who I haven't tripped on just yet. So, hmm. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to see if I can find this last bobcat girl and wrap up the party. So at least I figured out that Josh is cool enough. I mean, Justin's not here. So it's not like I can give Justin an invitation. Is this whole party going to be on hold? Because we're not able to invite Justin and Loretta's just not going to accept the fact that he just got on a ship and left for his like spooky ghost dead grandfather as an answer. All right. Last time, Loretta. Last time. I'm going to try to do this right for once. And then I want to go to South Hoof and I want to go run with the beautiful wild ponies and try to get the hermit to trust in me. I'll help him out with his garden again if he'll let me, and then that way we can earn a little bit of reputation with him. All right, so let's try to find somebody who we haven't found yet who would count as a cool kid. So this is the last time I'm gonna try for now. So we know Josh counts. All right, so that counts. And then we know that these girls over here count. So let's come on over. There we go. All right, so there's mail number two. I know Miss Holdsworth doesn't count. I know Jenna doesn't count. Um, May counts? Yeah, I'm pretty sure May counts. And then there's a girl who's like tucked over here who counts. Did I just miss a bobcat girl? They're kind of like light fixtures or something at Moreland Stables. There's so many of them. I wonder if Mr. Moreland ever feels a little bit overwhelmed because honestly, he's just surrounded by bobcat girls. I wonder what Justin thought about that. Did I miss you? Are you the person I missed? Just tucked back here in the corner, Julie? And that was all? Hmm, we'll have to see. All right, so there's a bobcat girl there. Not Jenna. She's not cool enough. There's Stephanie. I already gave one to Josh, right? Aha! I can't believe how easy this was. There's a whole bunch of them right here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we have just finally managed to invite the cool kids. So, all right, come on, Rosestone, Rosestone. There you go. Thank you, Rosestone. So we've invited the cool kids. Only the popular girls get to come to the party, which I think is a little bit silly, but that's okay. We managed it. Lori, Chloe everybody and let's go talk to Loretta and we will have finished that and then next time we'll be able to go on and enjoy the beautiful South Huff Peninsula which is so gorgeous and we'll hang out with the hermit just run with the wild horses kind of have a very laid back time and then we can get back to work trying to discover what mysteries Alex is trying to prompt us to learn about the Baroness so I'm very excited about that and I'm really looking forward to next week when hopefully we'll have a uh, maybe potato festival round two That'll teach me to like sit on my rump and not jump on the back of Rose Stone and dash off into the server to see what's going on. 
Awesome. Thanks for the help. What a great team we make, Saga. All right. Thank you. All right. Best decorations ever and creepy lights. Well, Loretta, we will work more on that next time. Ah, and now that we have finally invited only the cool kids to the party, everything should be good. So I'll see you guys next time when we will pop over to South Hoof and we will go racing with the hermit. Until then, guys. Bye-bye.